Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about cellulitis. Cellulitis is a common bacterial skin infection that affects the deeper layers of the skin and the underlying tissue. As you can see here, it mostly occurs in the legs or feet. The condition is typically caused by the bacteria entering the skin through a break or crack in the skin's surface, allowing them to multiply and cause infection. The causes, one of the most common causes, bacterial infection. In most cases of cellulitis are caused by bacteria entering the skin through a crack or break in the skin's surface. The most common bacteria responsible are streptococci or staphylococci. Skin injuries, wounds, cuts, insect bites, surgical incisions, or even conditions like eczema can create entry points for bacteria to penetrate the skin. Uh, the other causes are weakened immune system. Individuals with weakened immune system due to conditions like diabetes, HIV, AIDS, or those undergoing chemo are at higher risk of developing cellulitis. Chronic swelling, conditions that cause chronic swelling, such as lymphedema venous insufficiency can increase the risk the risk factors again skin injuries such as cuts wounds or insect bites chronic conditions that affect the skin's integrity such as eczema or athlete's foot weakened immune system due to conditions like diabetes hiv aids or chemo obesity as excess weight can put pressure on the skin and create folds where bacteria can try Circulatory problems such as venous insufficiency or lymphedema, which can impair the body's ability to fight infection. Now, let's talk about the signs and symptoms of cellulitis. Redness. The affected area may appear red, swollen, and inflamed. The redness may spread rapidly. Warmth. The skin around the affected area may feel warm to the touch. Pain or tenderness. The affected area may be painful or tender especially when touched or pressed. We have swelling. It may occur in the affected area, often marking the skin, feel tight or stretched. Fever and chills. Some individuals with cellulitis may develop a fever and experience chills, especially if the infection is severe or spread. Blisters or pustules. In some cases, blisters or pustules filled with pus may develop on the skin surface. Skin dimpling. As cellulitis progresses, the affected area may develop a dimpled or orange peel appearance. If left untreated, cellulitis can lead to serious complications like abscess formation. Pockets of pus may develop within the infected area. Sepsis. The infection can spread to the bloodstream, causing potentially life-threatening condition known as sepsis. Necrotizing fasciitis. This is a rare but severe form that affects the deeper layers of the skin and can lead to tissue death known as gangrene. The treatments usually done with antibiotics, typically administered orally for mild cases and intravenously for severe infections. Pain relievers may also be prescribed to alleviate discomfort. It's important to complete the full course as prescribed by healthcare provider to ensure the infection is fully eradicated. It's important to seek medical attention promptly if you suspect you have cellulitis, especially if you have a weakened immune system or if the infection is spreading rapidly. Antibiotics are typically prescribed to treat cellulitis and in severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary for IV antibiotics and monitoring. 